Hey guys and welcome, I am Jenya. In today's video we are doing a makeover of my kids playroom and we are turning that huge room into a guest room slash playroom. The reason is I am pregnant with twins and we need to turn our current guest room into their room and put that guest room into this room. Make sense? Anyways, this is what the room is looking like right now but I would like to insert a little clip from my previous video where I had to declutter this disaster playroom. This happened about a month ago or so, but this is what it used to look like before. I wanted to show you this so that you have an idea of what this room has been going through in the last month or so. And this was my part one to this whole room makeover, which I had to declutter all of this disaster and organize all of the toys. After I completed that task, this is what the room was looking like in the end. And we were also going to squeeze a guest room in here. However, I was going to originally put my guest bed over there in that little nook. But a couple of you commented and and said maybe I should do it on the other side of the room which is where I am right now and that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to start putting everything away from the wall because I wanted to change into my painting clothes and start with painting that brown wall I'll tell you more about my plan of this room in just a second but let me show you the primer and the paint I will be using on these walls we will end up buying more paint this was just left over from my previous makeovers but this time I decided to actually use a primer which I almost never do but it was a great decision in the end because I normally just buy paint with primer included already and in my experience I just have been putting a lot of coats of that paint that already included primer and this time I decided to see if there's going to be any difference if I actually put the primer first and then the paint we're going to end up putting three coats on this wall altogether the first coat being just primer I gotta tell you I really liked this experience and I'm going to actually be using primer in most cases from now on. I just found the whole process to go smoother and the paint to lay on the wall really nicely after I put the primer on. But anyways, you do whatever you prefer in your walls. But if you have an opinion on this topic, you can certainly leave it in the comment section below. But back to our plan for this room for today. Let me just quickly introduce myself to anybody who is new right now. My name is Jenya and I am a stay-at-home mother of two toddlers ages two and four and I am currently pregnant pregnant with twins, which was kind of unexpected, so my husband and I are now running around trying to get ready for all the changes that are about to come. At the time of starting this painting, I was in my second trimester and I was feeling pretty good. I wasn't complaining about my energy levels a lot, I had my spikes and this is when I wanted to work on the room because my husband is mostly at work and there are things that have due date and just need to get done. So by no means was I wearing myself out, if I had a spike of energy this is when I would paint and work on things. I'm only explaining that because I do get comments from time to time from some of you who think that I do a little bit too much since I'm pregnant and I think you're so sweet guys and thank you but no I'm taking good care of myself don't you worry. I knew that my energy would not last too long though because I was about to hit third trimester and this is why I'm just only taking one wall at a time. I just wanted to paint the brown walls first. As you can see we are now on the other side of the room and this is the second brown wall that I'm going to paint white. The color is not completely white by the way, I think it's called Snowbound. It's a little bit off-white and I love those type of colors and I use it a lot in my makeovers. I definitely feel like I can trust this color, that's why I just went with it, plus I had some leftover. So I was just going to paint this room as much as I could until my energy ran out and then I was going to count on my husband to finish painting it. As a matter of fact, this is exactly what happened. After finishing in painting these two brown walls and giving them just a couple of coats I did hit my third trimester and I had run out of energy and my husband had to take over so he finished painting this entire room I'm going to show you just bits and pieces of it I didn't film the entire process you get the idea this is just painting step number two would be turning this little nook where I am at right now into my kids playroom instead of giving them the whole room to play with this is just too much in my opinion they don't need it and really if you have a limited amount of space you can't fit too many toys in there therefore I'll keep decluttering and I'll know that if it gets a little bit too crowded we have too many toys. So after we'll move 
move all of the toys into that playroom corner. We're going to turn the other half of this room into the guest room by bringing in the bed, installing some shelves. I wanted to change up the curtains, lighten this whole room up a little bit and turn it into a calm and relaxing space for the guests and the other side into an organized playroom that is not overcrowded or overwhelming to play in. One last but important note, I am not going to spend a bunch of money on this makeover. I'm going to work with either what I already have or buy things that are discounted or on sale or some things that are completely necessary and just can't do without, like shelves. Basically just try and be practical overall and see what I can come up with without spending a lot on this room. So I'll be talking to you throughout the video, explaining to you what is happening, what kind of obstacles we'd have to overcome and I hope you'll get something useful out of this video. Cause we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them I know I should have taken the outlet covers off, but I was too lazy. They looked a little bit dirty even after wiping them off and I just decided to go ahead and paint over them. <laughs> it may have been wrong, but I thought they look much fresher, whiter and just better than they did before. Also what I did was I just painted over the baseboards as well. <laughs> After painting those two brown walls white, they still needed one extra coat and I also was not sure what we were going to do with the rest of the walls which were kind of beige. This is where my husband is going to step in and actually take off the covers like you're supposed to and finish up the whole room for me. We're just going to turn it all into one color room. I definitely knew that I wanted some extra shelves and <laughs> just shelves in this room, big nice wooden shelves and we're going to do those DIY, we're just going to buy the wood and the bracket but I wasn't sure which wall to place the shelves on. Originally I wanted them on this wall right over here and this is where you need a second opinion. So after discussing it with my husband we came to a solution. I like organizing my kids toys by categories and in rotations as well and we have a little closet in their part of the room where I put all of those toys in boxes and it's just a little bit too crowded in there but the main problem is that I can never open that door without them asking me to take some toys out because they know that's where the toys are so by having high shelves in the playroom part of this room I could store some containers or baskets with their toys on those shelves it will be out of their reach but within my reach and that's what we're gonna end up doing right now as you can see after any makeover or after any painting project any room turns into a disaster especially if it's a playroom with a bunch of toys in it so we're just going to tidy up this room just pick up all of the toys from the floor and starting to move them to that space where the window is right now and start calling that little space their playroom from now on and thank you for suggesting guys not to turn that part of the room into the guest room and do it the other way around so where I'm sitting on the floor right now this is where the guest room is going to be so this is where I want to thank you for your suggestions and your comments because whenever I feel stuck with making a decision one way or the other all I need is just to ask you for a second opinion and your suggestions always definitely help me make up my mind or you always come up with some ideas so thank you for that I don't know what I would do without you Well, my kids and I are cleaning up the playroom and my husband's gonna help me in a minute. I'll show you what he's up to. Taking you to the messiest room at the moment in the house, which is our guest room current. That is about to be the twin room. I also do my laundry in here. So this big bed is going to come out of this room. And my husband was just bringing in the crib frames that we got from Facebook Marketplace for the twins. We did get them the new mattresses, however, we don't know where anything is gonna go yet, but he just needs to put those cribs together. And after we're done cleaning up the playroom, he's going to take this bed into that playroom. Back in the playroom, this is what it's looking like at the moment. I'm just going to speed up the tidying up process a little bit. 
any toys that take me more time to put together than for kids to play with them or anything that requires 20 batteries for it to work is just too much maintenance like this train rail I can't stand I don't know why I still have it probably because that's the only train rail that they have but I'm going to put it out of the way and I will probably declutter that very soon as well just because I noticed that when it's out it takes a lot of space and they take about five minutes a day to play with it that is it so I feel like that toy is not really worth my time to maintain and for them to play two minutes a day you know however this blue and orange racetrack is my son's absolutely favorite toy so we're gonna take it to his room I think it just makes more sense for now all of the toys are kept in the playroom we don't really have any toys in our kids rooms but I am planning to give each kid of mine a little container for their personal toys to keep in their room I think it's also going to make cleaning up a little bit easier at the end of the day but other than that all of the toys are located in the playroom I'm throwing away a few toys and taking everything that doesn't belong in this room anymore. I'm going to take out of here and my husband is going to start rearranging the playroom. Like I said, this racetrack is going into my son's room. And of course, the rest of the house is always a mess while you're working on one room. All the paint on the walls is completely dry by now and my husband just put all of the outlet covers back on all around the room. So we're moving all of the furniture into the playroom part. If you notice there's two doors one on each side of this little playroom and they're both little closets they're not big I'll show you what's inside of one of them where I keep the rest of the toys such as puzzles at the end of this video just in case you're wondering but I only want to keep something that I don't need on a daily basis in those closets such as their rotations also I am trying to vacuum the floor as we go and as we're moving stuff the floors are pretty messy I don't know where the furniture is going to end up so whenever I get a chance I just kind of vacuum and also I'm going to wipe the floors with my microfiber mop in just a few minutes when everything is out of the way All of those toy organizers that are colorful I got from Facebook Marketplace costing me about 10 to 15 bucks each. On the right hand side we have those little cute tables that are real wood. They were hand-me-downs to us and they actually came from a real American school and I love them. And I thought each of the kids would get their little corner in case they wanted to color or do some writing, you know, so that they can sit down or maybe even do their puzzle and stuff like that. Then we have those messy two bookshelves that I need to organize and I will in this video. Waking up to my heartbeat, accompanied by the rain, the soreness in my eyes is not very surprising. Right now I'm just throwing stuff around and then we're going to install the shelves and it's still going to look completely different. Give me 
some time to breathe. Give me some time to speak. The blue container has one of their toy rotations, it's just a bunch of toys which I am not planning to give them until this makeover is over. However, that was just my plan, they will at some point realize that there are toys in there, they will open it up and take all of the toys out, but I'll take care of that off camera, I'm not gonna be filming myself cleaning up this room again. Where to go? You're left without warning, and now you're ignoring me. Some dishwashing soap in my microfiber mop. That's how I like wiping the floors. These floors like you to be gentle with them, and this mop and this solution is perfect for these cork floors. Give me some time to breathe. Give me some time to speak, because I know. My kids do have toys, it's just that they're all out of the way in the closet at the moment. There's eight more containers that are supposed to be in that little colorful organizer, which are right now in the closet. We're also going to be putting a rug into this area that I'm mopping right now. I got a really good quality for a really good price and I'll show you that deal at the store in just a minute. We came here for the bed, we're going to take it out of this now twin room and take it into which is now playroom slash guest room. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down We were so lucky that this bed just fit into the doorways Exactly I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So we just need to grab the headboard that's against the wall from here and this is now former guest room. And now this is the new guest room, so he's going to put the bed back together and then we are going to switch to doing some shelves in this room. My husband went to, I think, Home Depot and got all the wood. I wasn't a part of it, I was feeling pregnant. He then put a little bit of Danish oil on it, which is the same color as the actual wood. The color is called natural, so the color of the wood is not going to change. And I love that. I love the light wood as it is. Now he's going to cut the shelves to size. And when it comes to brackets for the shelves, I get them from Amazon. I This is the best deal I have found so far, but I only get the plain looking ones very heavy duty ones. I wasn't really ready to spend a lot of money on brackets right now. They can get pretty expensive, especially if you're buying them from Home Depot. And if you're more into pretty looking brackets, then I guess you're gonna have to look around, but you will have to spend a little bit more, but I'll leave a link for these in the description. Right now we are at Ross, my favorite store, looking at the bunch of rugs that are on sale. Obviously they're new and I just don't know where else you can get prices like this. Our minds be caught up in a dream. 
I was looking for a bigger size these are 6 by 8 feet and I was looking more like 8 by 11 which is this one and that's the one we're going to take home it's 8 by 10 and it would normally cost you $200 and I got it for 110 as you can see it's really thick and it's so soft that I could not believe that I could get this size of this quality for the price so let me show you what it's going to look like here in the guest room and also how soft it is I really wanted for this guest room to be not cluttered and very calm just a space where you wouldn't mind to spend the night or two you know so far it was turning out that the color palette or the color theme for this room was going to be sort of grayish and bluish and this is where my husband suggested that we hang pictures in this room and the only pictures that would go with this kind of style would be the pictures that we have in our bedroom i love them dearly we decided to just put them in here and find something else for our bedroom eventually so we will be bringing that wall art in here shortly and my husband just first has to hang a couple more shelves i wanted two on each side and there's a one more shelf that is going to go into the guest room as well as a couple of more things you'll see that in just a minute So these shelves were turning out to be exactly how I wanted them to be, how I planned my project for storing the kids' everyday toys up there and not in the closet. I'll organize it later in this video and you'll see what I mean. You might be wondering what my husband is up to right here. A couple of years ago, a close relative of my husband's gave me a desk that is supposed to be hung on the wall. I absolutely love that piece of furniture. So let me show you what this wall is looking like before we hang everything on it. I think the transformation of this particular wall was my favorite part of this whole makeover. So right now my computer desk is located in the twins room. So that will have to change. We're going to move that desk probably in our bedroom, not sure quite yet but this one is going to be my backup desk which I never had before I am pretty happy with this location for it and with this solution so far but let me know what you think in the comments We're going to hang a shelf above the desk and you can see it's a little bit too big so my husband just cut it to size and then we're going to make it look very pretty here in a minute and i'm going to get rid of these curtains i really do not like them but here come the pictures from our bedroom i love them and we decided to locate them on this wall right here there's plenty of beautiful wall art that i can think of for our bedroom right now but i really am against spending money right now so i'm going to wait for a good discount or for something to come my way that will look good in our bedroom as for the shelf above that desk we decided to put some books on it because it's sort of decor but it's a practical decor these books are coming from my husband's office he has a big bookshelf and we are moving things around there so we decided to put a few in here and then the plants are my obsession in my opinion you can never go wrong with greenery however i will be replacing this plant with a different plant that is a little bit smaller and we'll get to that in just a second but first let's go to my son's room and grab these blue curtains from him because those are the only curtains i could think of right now so i'm going to just hang this one dark blue curtain which i got for him but we're still waiting for the second one and these blue ones from his room are going to go into this guest room this is not a permanent solution however i just really dislike those gray curtains and i couldn't really find any good deals right now on any curtains that that I actually liked anywhere else so I decided to just not buy anything for now until something again comes my way something that I like for a good price and right here you also see that I'm extremely happy that I actually managed to hang them myself as well besides from being short I think those curtains went really well with the theme of the room and it's definitely a perfect solution for a budget makeover now I'm just going to switch the plant to something that I like better and this plant does not require a lot of sun as far as I know so we'll just just hope that it does well in this spot now let's switch back to the playroom part while this makeover has been going on for a couple of weeks now we also had my daughter's birthday and gained a couple of more toys so i'm pointing out to this organizer that needs to get out of this room and go to the twins room which is what i bought it for in the first place and this dollhouse is going to go to my daughter's room instead of the one that she has in her room right now which is giant this one 
I don't like this one here for various reasons, so we're going to move it to actual basement. Sometimes I work in the basement and my kids are with me and I have just a couple of big toys, bulky toys there for them to keep busy and occupied. And I thought that dollhouse would be perfect for the basement for right now. But I only have, I think about four big bulky toys down there in the basement, just in case you thought I just throw everything down to the basement. That's not the case at all. For this window, I think the best solution would be blinds, which I ordered just recently, they haven't come in yet. I'm just going to quickly organize the books now. All the books are in these two shelves, plus each kid has a spot in their room for their books as well. I'm just going to organize these ones. I think I'm gonna go with just separating them by size mostly, because that's the first thing I think of when I look for a book. And I thought it would be easier to store them with the organizers that we have for those books. The one that's on the left, only displays big books really well the small ones kind of fall to the bottom so i don't like that one but we're just going to store big books in that one and the other one we are going to organize by size mostly and i'm not going to go crazy about this organization because it's kids space it's going to get messed up tomorrow so i thought i'll just go with the simplest way possible but if you have any ideas for organizing kids books and how you do it please share in the comment section i'd love to know So I'm done with the books, this one just has all the bulky books and these ones I tried organizing in the most visual way possible so that you can find what you're looking for easier. And these are Anya's book which I will be taking to her room. When we did her room makeover a couple of videos back we hung some shelves for the books and unfortunately the bottom ones are already falling out of the wall. I'm gonna show you right now. So she only has this top one functional, but we need to fix her bookshelf situation. But it's not the worst it could be because she also has some book storage in her bed. Let me show you right here. So this is how we are storing her books right now, but we'll fix everything. We're back in the guest room. I'm just going to wipe the dust off of my new backup desk, make sure that everything is looking okay. And I'm gonna show you how the playroom also turned out with the toy organization. So this is the final after picture of this wall, I love it. Back in the playroom, I finished as much as I could. There is a couple more things to work on and I'll tell you what not to look at. It is almost finished and I just wanted to show you the system that I had in mind and I already have set up. I thought it was a must to place a basket here, the bunny basket with the miscellaneous sticker. That's for all the pieces that you find throughout the house or whatever you don't know what to do with and you'll deal with later. The baskets on the shelves are all the toys that are grouped together. So whenever they're playing with, let's say, kitchen dishes, like right now, I would just empty that basket onto the organizer underneath and that's what they're playing with right now. As they're done, they will put it back together. I will put it back on top of the shelf and give them another toy. And I don't have to run to the closet. It's out of their reach and I love this system. I think it will work best for me. I'll definitely keep you posted on how it's working out, but I didn't quite get to the pretty labeling of the baskets quite yet. I don't think it's exactly necessary right now. As long as the system is in place, that's all that matters.
these are not all of their toys there is more in the closet which are their main toy rotations and they're not out right now so I don't want to have a lot of toys out at the same time but this is just a minimal amount I'll give them more I just need a little tidy up and organization inside of the closet and then I'll be ready to give them their rotations I'll show you what is going on in the closet in a minute this pink toy box is where we keep their stuffed toys for the most part after I have my two twin boys, Anya is going to be the only girl and I think I'm going to give this pink box to her because I did a makeover of that toy box in the first place for Anya a couple of years ago. On these shelves it's just extra space so I placed a couple of toys they've been playing with in the last few days and this is the part where you're not supposed to look at because that is going to the closet and I'm still working on those. <laughs> Quick little tour to the closet before I show you the final after shots of the guest room and the whole room together. And then I'll be ending the video, but first, this is the closet where I keep the rest of their toys, toy rotations and puzzles. All of the puzzles are on this side, separated by certain criteria. For example, the very bottom green one has their coloring supplies and backups and activities like that. But anyways, the, on the other side, these are supposed to be their two rotations and then there's a couple of baskets that have a couple of things thrown in them and i just need to sort of find a place for it and that's it all of their building blocks and magnets are also in here in this closet behind those baskets but this is how the playroom is looking after decluttering and on a decent day so let me now show you the overall pictures of this makeover and i'd love to know what you think Thank you guys so much for stopping by here today. I hope you have a wonderful week doing whatever your heart pleases. I hope to see you here next week and bye-bye now.